Grakanica Monastery pronounced Ratnitsa, Serbian, Manastir Grakanica Manastir Grakanica, Albanian, Manastiri i Grakanices is a Serbian Orthodox monastery located in Kosovo. It was built by the Serbian king Stefan Militan in 1321 on the ruins of a 6th century basilica. The monastery was declared a monument of culture of exceptional importance in 1990, and on 13 July 2006 it was placed on UNESCO's World Heritage List under the name of Medieval Monuments in Kosovo as an extension of the Visoki Dakani site which was overall placed on the list of World Heritage in Danger. The Grakanica Monastery is one of King Militan's last monumental endowments. The monastery is located in Grakanica, a Serbian enclave in the close vicinity of Lipion, the old residence of bishops of Lipion. Geography <inaudible> 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 The monastery is located in Grakanica, a Serbian enclave near Lipion, some 5 km miles from Pristina. It is situated on the Kosovo field, on the left riverbank of Grasanka, a right tributary of the Sitnica River. The name is derived from Slavic Gradic, a toponym of fortified cities. History Grakanica was constructed on the ruins of an older 13th-century church of the Holy Virgin, which itself was built on the ruins of a 6th-century early Christian Three Naved Basilica. It was located in the center of the eparchy of Lipion. Stefan Militon's K. Teeter comment are written on the southern wall, including I have seen the ruins and the decay of the Holy Virgin's Temple of Grakanica, the bishopric of Lipion, so I have built it from the ground and painted and decorated it both from inside and outside. In 1346, when the Serbian archbishopric was raised to the rank of Patriarchate, the Bishop of Lipion was granted the honorary title of Metropolitan Bishop, and since that time they were called Metropolitans of Lipion or Grakanica. Of the former monastic compound, only the church has survived. The narthex and the tower were added a few decades later, in order to protect the frescoes on the west façade. The narthex was heavily damaged by the Ottomans several times between 1379 to 1383, when the tower was burned and a fire devoured a rich collection of manuscripts and other precious objects. The narthex was reconstructed in 1383. Again, Grakanica suffered damages at the time of the Battle of Kosovo 1389. During Ottoman rule Grakanica became an important cultural center. In the time of Metropolitan Nicanor (1528–1555), several icons were painted on the altarpiece. Also, because of the printing press, Nicanor obtained numerous service books and objects for monastic use. The royal doors were commissioned in 1564 by Metropolitan Dionysij, whose death is represented on a fresco in the narthex. Major restoration took place through efforts of Patriarch Makarije Sokolovic. All the openings on the external narthex were walled up and new frescoes were completed in 1570. Thanks to Patriarch Paj Siege, the church got its leaden roofing, and in 1620 the large cross with crucifix was made on the iconostasis. The monastery was exposed to new damages toward the end of the 17th century, in the Great Turkish War, after the Second Siege of Vienna, in which the Serbs took part on the Christian side. Turks removed the Leiden cross and pulled out the floor tiles, together with the treasure hidden in the church by Patriarch Arseni III. After the World War II it was renewed by nuns and has been serving as a convent since. Today there are 24 sisters in the monastery who are active in icon painting, agriculture, sewing and other monastic obediences. In 1999 the monastery was bombed twice by NATO airplanes. After the Kosovo War 1998 Bishop of Raska and Prizren Artimij Radosavljevic transferred his official seat to this monastery from Prizren and since then the monastery has become not only the most important spiritual but also the national and political centre of the Serb community in Kosovo. The monastery was declared a monument of culture of exceptional importance in 1990, and on 13 July 2006 it was placed on UNESCO's World Heritage List under the name of Medieval Monuments in Kosovo as an extension of the Visoki Dakani site which was overall placed on the list of World Heritage in Danger. Architecture <laughs> 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 Grakanica represents the culmination of the medieval Serbian art of building in the Serbo-Byzantine tradition. 
The church has the form of a double inscribed cross, one inside the other, the inner one providing for a vertical silhouette so as to raise the central dome upwards on a graded elaboration of masses. The dome rests on four freestanding pillars. Above the spaces between the cross shafts, four smaller domes give a regular structure to the whole crowning complex. Three three-sided apses the central one being the largest put a mild distinction on the altar space externally. The diaconicon and the prosthesis are separated by full walls. Between the nave and the narthex there are wide, heavy pillars and the catalicon conventual church is on a level higher. The church was built in alternate courses of brick and stone. At the end of the 14th century an exonarthex was added with double arcades, but these were blinded in the 16th century. Art in the church three kinds of painting can be discerned. The earliest is found in the nave, whereas two later ones can be recognized in the narthex. The frescoes were painted in 1321-1322. The painting works have been well preserved. The compositions in the nave deal with the earthly life of Jesus and the ecclesiastical calendar. The focal paintings of Gracanica include the festival cycle, the passion and the miracles of Christ. Inside the narthex, there are portraits of the founders, King Militon and Queen Simonida, Queen Eline d. Anjou King's mother as a nun and King Militon as a monk. Of particular importance is the Nemanjic dynasty genealogy, the first ever painted, which starts with Stefan Nemanja and ends with Militon. Also in the narthex, there is an exhaustive illustration of the Last Judgment. The scenes from the life of St. Nicholas are in the North Periclesian, while the walls of the South one display scenes from the Old Testament and the lives of Christ and the Mother of God. The master painters supposedly were Michael and Euthyhege with their assistants. There are also considerable frescoes from 1570 in the Exonarthex, commissioned by Patriarch Makarije Sokolovic. There are some paintings in the narthex that date back to the late 14th and early 15th centuries, including the Baptism of Jesus, parts of the Virgin's Akathistus hymns and the Ecumenical Councils. Two subjects, however, dominate the narthex of Gracanica, the doxology to the Holy Virgin and the procession of the Serbian archbishops from St. Sava to Patriarch Makarije Sokolovic. A historical composition of the death of the Metropolitan of Gracanica Dionysiage covers the southeastern part of the narthex. The paintings of Gracanica rank highest among the achievements of Militon's period, characterized by influences of the Byzantine splendiferous and luxurious style called the Paleologan Renaissance. In terms of style, they are also related to the art of the other of Militon's foundations. Gallery Topic. Legacy topic. The design of the Church of St. Sava in Belgrade is based on the models of Gracanica and Hagia Sophia. In Chicago, the new Gracanica Church is a detailed replica of Gracanica, completed and consecrated in 1984. There are poems dedicated to Gracanica by Zorka Stojanovic and Disanka Maksimovic. Topic in popular culture topic Gracanica the Golden Apple, a documentary film of series Witnesses of Time produced by the broadcasting service RTB in 1989 was created by Ph.D. Bronislav Todik and Petr Savkovic, directed by Milan Konezhevich. Music was composed by Zoran Ristik. Kosovo, a moment in civilization topic Annotations topic topic References topic topic Further reading topic Ivanovich, Radomir 1961 Zemlizny Pozdi Grakanikig Vlasilistva Land Property of the Monastery Grakanika in Middle Ages, Istoriski Kasopis 11 1960, 253 264. Boskovic, D., Grakanika. Biograd, Drustvo Prijitala Starina. Kirkuk, Slobodan. Grakanika, King Militon's Church and its Place in Late Byzantine Architecture. Pennsylvania State University Press. Kirkuk, Slobodan 2007. Gracanica and the Cult of the Saintly Prince Lazar. Zabornik Radova Vizontolaskog Instituta. Belgrade, Sanu. 44 465-472. doi, 10.2298, ZRVI 0744465C. Dordovic, A. 2009. 
Grakanika kao inspirasiha srpskih peznika novi doba, poesija i kultura PDF. Bastina 87, 87-100, Dordovic, A. Grakanika u starom zapisima i natpisima i narodnoj poesiji PDF. Bastina 26, 115-125. Glushchevik, Z. 1989. Popovic Ratko, ed. Grakoniko Pavezmo od Zalata. Strasny Sud. Prishtina, Jedinstvo. Milosevic, D. Grakanika. Biograd, Turistica Stampa. Popovic, J. Grakanika. Biograd, Lada S. R. Bija. Todic, B. Grakanika. Prishtina, Muse U. Pristini. Todic, B. B. Grakanika, Slikarstvo. Prishtina, Muse U. Pristini. Serkovic, Sima. The Serbs. Malden, Blackwell Publishing. ISBN 9781405142000. Grakanika, Sima. 2004. Ferrari, Silvio, Benzo, Andrea. Between Cultural Diversity and Common Heritage, Legal and Religious Perspectives on the Sacred Places of the Mediterranean. London and New York, Routledge. ISBN 9781317175. External links Official web presentation of Raska and Prizren Diocese Serbian Unity Congress